basically when you come in, you're going to have a blank slate. You're not going to have all these servers sitting out here. Acronis is a is a pretty thorough product, right? It provides demo, it provides backup functionality for servers, workstations, uh, just all sorts of things. Um, when we're dealing with Microsoft 365 for business, the process for actually adding that into your backup and being able to utilize it is pretty simple. Um, so when we come to our ad, this is where all of our agents and things like that exist. So you can download agents and, and work with them. Um, we're going to be adding in 365 for business. So we go ahead and click this guy. It's going to ask me to sign in to 365. Now this account needs to be uh, an account that can provide the Acronis um, system with what's called application impersonation rights to the users. Um, so generally this is going to be a global admin. Um, that you're going to utilize for this. So same thing here. I'm going to choose my global admin and enter my password. And when I sign in, it gives me all the permissions that this service is, is asking for. So you can read these and kind of make sure that you're okay with all of this being given to given to a Chromer. And then once you get that, you can click accept. And it's going to begin the process of pulling the Microsoft 365 for Business environment into a Chromer. So if I come in here and I go to my users immediately, here are all my users, right? Nobody has a backup plan at this point applied to them. Um, so I kind of need to do that. Um, I can do this at a, at a group level if I want to do that. Um, so if I come into my all groups, I see these are you know all company, um, HR, leadership. Um, these are different groups that I have uh, defined within my Office 365 environment. Um, if I want to apply a backup plan at the user level, I can do that as well. Um, I can even come in and say, I want to choose a group of users that I'm selecting, and then choose to do a group backup on these guys. I have two plans that are already created within my environment for these users. So there's a OneDrive backup and a mailbox backup for these users. So if I want to go ahead and back up the mailbox using this plan, basically this plan is going to uh, back up straight to cloud storage. Um, it's going to schedule out once a day. Um, that's something that's mandated by Microsoft. We can't back up more than once a day. Um, and it enters a queue to be able to do that. So the backups can happen. It's, you know, general, within a certain window, they can happen at any time. So um, that window is from 5 p.m. all the way into, uh, I think, 10 a.m. the next day is whenever your backups will occur on, on the mailboxes. And it'll be different times for different mailboxes. Um, my retention is configurable, so this plan has a retention plan of six months, four weeklies, and seven dailies. So you're going to have seven daily backups, and then we'll designate one of those dailies as a weekly, and we'll keep that for four weeks. And then we'll designate one of those weeklies as a monthly, and we'll keep that for six months. Um, that's configurable to as long as you need to retain your data um, and retain those backups. I am going to... Uh, you back up the archive mailbox as well. Um, if you, for some reason, don't care about your archive mailboxes for your users, you don't have to use that. You can turn those off. It might save you some data, um, possibly in cloud storage. Encryption-wise, I do have that turned on. This is encryption at rest. Everything is encrypted in transit automatically. Um, so from the second we start to pull a piece of data out and maneuver that over, to the second it lands on storage, it's, in, it's encrypted in transit. This allows you to set the encryption passphrases um, so that your data is encrypted at rest no matter what storage it sits on. So if you were to pull this data off to a USB drive, it would still be encrypted with the same passphrase that you utilize and you put in. It's not stored anywhere with Acronis or Net3 um, for security sakes, so um, it's a non-recoverable item. Keep that in mind. You will need to know what this is at all times in order to get access to the, to the backup, um, but it does uh, secure the backup in a portable fashion. So once I've reviewed that or I've created a new backup plan, I just click apply. Um, the backup will schedule and I will get a run now um, here in a little bit. It will actually show me, hey, you can go ahead and run this manually. Um, that's restricted to two times a day. Um, so you, you can do that. Um, so I just applied that backup plan to all of those users. So you can see my backups are now scheduled for, for everybody at this point. Um, come in and choose a single user and go to their backup tab. This is my 365 mailbox backup that I just applied to them. 
if I add this backup plan, I can go ahead and apply another plan, say a OneDrive plan, to this user um, and individually and not affect what the group backup plan is. So I can manage them both at the group level and at the uh, individual user level at that point. Um, notice now I have my run now, so I can go ahead and, and schedule these out to, to run and do what they need to do. Um, if I go up to my site collections, this is your SharePoint Online. So these are the different SharePoint Online sites that are existent within my uh, demo group here. Um, protecting them is the same process that I go through for protecting the user. So protecting this, click on backup. I can apply this uh, pre-made plan or I can create a new plan um, if I want to. This pre-made plan backs up everything, uh, backs it up straight to cloud storage once a day, and has the same retention plans that the, uh, that the user level did. So that backup is now scheduled. I can go ahead and click right now, and that guy will, will kick off and run. 